The few seconds that stretch into minutes as each click on the track takes you agonizingly toward the top. Then that plunge where the end of the track disappears, as does your heart. Following that, the body-wrenching curves and death-defying angles. If we hadn't paid $25 to get in and stood in line for an hour and a half, we might not have thought it was a good time. But as much as we Americans like roller coasters, others simply love them. It's the closest to death you can come and still enjoy it. Jim Shivers is an ace, that is, an American coaster enthusiast. And he's just one of 65,000 in this country. He's here at Cedar Point for a convention of the Aces, the latest stop on their annual trek across the country, all aimed at settling for themselves the question, what makes the best coaster? I myself prefer the old wooden coasters, the, uh, especially the, the older ones, the original ones, rather than the new ones. The negative G's where you come up off of your seat, and the only thing holding you in is the bar. Speed bumps, uh, air time. Uh, I like being off the seat more than in the seat. <laughs> the excitement of climbing up that lift hill knowing what's over the top. That's, that's the, the thrill. So with hands in the air and the screams of the veteran terrified, the notion goes away that a hobby club has to be expensive, stuffy, or time-consuming. Just like roller coasters, roller that's coast. it. People that like to have fun, clean fun, uh -huh. and get their highs on a lift hill, this is my kind of people. At Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, John Snyder for CBS News.